assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all guys in the lecture of the series of the biostat subjects in the today lecture we will learn the correlation coefficient and the linear regression let's to go through from the definition a thematic structure of the correlation coefficient and the linear regression the correlation correlation coefficient it's a clear by its title is the correlation it means it is the statically measure the relationship between the two quantitative variables and it's also to see the association between the two variables and these two variables are the one is called the independent variable independent variables which is called the iv and the second one is the second one is the dependent variable now the independent variable the other name of the independent variable is called the explanatory explanatory variable and this is called the response variable the dependent variable is called the response variable and it is also called the predictor and this is a prediction okay now the independent variable is always lies on the x axis and the dependent variable always lies on the y axis the x axis is the independent variable and the y axis which is always lies on the y axis y axis is called is called the dependent variable now let's go through with the relationship the relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable it lies between plus 1 plus 1 to minus 1 okay plus 1 and plus 1 and minus 1 if it is near means more than 0.75 more than 0.75 yeah more less than minus 0.75 the variable the 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 regression the correlation how much it is near the one either or it is on the plus one side either on the minus one side how much it is close to the one it is show the strong relationship relation ship okay if it is which is near towards the minus one then again is the strong relationship right if it is the answer of the r is the correlation if it is come in the plus in the in the plus outcome in the plus result so it is called the strong positive relationship if suppose the value of the r come up with the point uh, 89 0.89 it shows the strong positive relationship if the the r the correlation coefficient the answer or the value of the correlation coefficient then in the minus side if it is come minus 0.92 so it is again it is a strong relationship but in a negative negative relationship now what it says positive uh, relationship and negative relationship suppose let's see over here on this graph now look here is the zero steady hours okay steady hours on the x axis and the gpa is on the 
y axis because the gpa is the outcome and steady hours is the independent variable now 30 minutes 1 hour 1.5 hour 2 hour 2.5 hours and 3 hours and more than 3 hours <coughs> Okay, 1 GPA, 2 GPA, 3 GPA, and 4, 4 GPA. Now, suppose, as we know that the students who are the spending the more hours on the statics subjects, then they will get the more GPA. So, if I suppose, if I select the data like this from the many around 200 or 300 students the data if you see or one or two data over here but if you see the cluster of the data is in the center okay it is in the center but it is going to upward okay it show it's going to upward it means they has the students increase their study hours on the uh, to study or to give the time to a particular subject then he will get the good gpa so it means it is a strong relationship between the study hours and the gpa and suppose if the the correlation of this of this relationship come up with the 0 0.089 it means it is a strong positive relationship between the study hours and the gpa and what is the positive say positive says has the study hours will increase the definitely the gpa will be increased means the x variable the independent variable will increase the definitely it will increase the dependent variable so it is shows the positive relationship let's see the another relationship between which is called the negative relationship now see the another graph which is i am drawing over here to clear your concept about the negative relationship now see here this is the and x axis is the exercise hours okay now it is a body weight body weight okay let's see 50 kg 60 kg 70 kg 80 90 kg 100 kg body weight in kgs and hours exercise hours okay 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, and 4 hours, and 5 hours. If you look here, if I collect the data from the 300 or 400 pupils who are doing the exercise on the daily basis, and they are spending the 1 or 2, 3 hours, if I collect the data from them and I measure the body weight and body weight okay so it is the uh, a data which is I look here the data is shows that the is a negative relationship if you calculate the R of such type of the data it will come up with the minus 0.92 minus 0 0.92 0 0.92 which is i told you earlier has your value of the r which is come closest towards the towards the one it is means the strong relationship either it is on the plus side either on it is on the left side how much your r value which is come near to the come near to the zero it is the weak relationship if it is a zero it means no relationship near to zero near to zero means weak relationship 
ओके वीक रिलेशनशिप इफ इट इज जीरो इफ द एनी आर इज कम जीरो इज मींस नो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरियर डिपेंडेंट वेरियर नाउ वी विल कम अप ऑन आवर ओन कंसेप्ट द नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप so it is the the r of this data suppose of this data which is come up with the minus 0.92 0.92 is the strong relationship minus it shows the negative relationship how it is a negative what is the negative if you increase the x axis means if you increase the x values so the y values will come decrease means you are increasing the x axis then the y become a decreases so it is shows the negative relationship in the y in the positive relationship if we increase the x definitely it increase the y but here it is the x axis is increasing but the y uh, values become decreasing means how many hours of your exercise you will increase on the daily basis it will decrease drastically your the body weight the body weight of the public body weight of the individuals public body weight of the population now i think it's a clear your concept about the strong relationship and the what is the positive relationship and what is the negative relationship and what is the uh near to zero it is the weak relationship if it is become a come up the r is come up with zero so it means no relationship okay now let's go through uh, to solve the correlation coefficient through a formula so what is the day formula for this r is equal to n sum of the xi xy minus sum of the x and sum of the y multiply by the sum of the y and then we will go to divide it with the under root of the n sum of the x square minus uh sum of the x whole square then again multiply with n sum of the y square minus sum of the y whole square then capital the large bracket is end up okay this is the formula to calculate the linear regression so this is the formula to calculate the correlation coefficient is r is equal to n multiply with the uh, sum of the xy and minus with the sum of the xi sum of the x and multiply by the sum of the y then we will go to divide with the square root of the n and l is multiplied by the sum of the x square and minus of sum of the whole square and then again we will multiply with the so uh, n and multiply with the sum of the y square and sum of the y minus multi minus of the sum of the y whole square this is the formula to calculate the uh, to calculate or to measure the correlation coefficient let's to solve this uh, the coefficient correlation formula throw an an example that it's a clear your more concept how to solve the how to cal calculate or how to measure the correlation coefficient okay let's to go through to solve the correlation coefficient the formula of the r through an a numerical a data has been collected from the six students the data of the six student has been collected a uh, which is they spend the uh, hours for their study and then they got the marks the student who is spend this more than uh, more than 4 3 hours they get the higher score and then those student who spend the less than 
two hour, less than three hours, they got the less score. So the and on the x-axis is the study hours, and on the y is the number of the score or the marks of the student which is they got according to their spending of their hours. Now, this is the. Now we will go to has we need some of the x, you know, and some of the y. Some of the x we will sum up all the values of the study hour which is the spent by the six student six is uh, six plus two is a eight eight nine nine and five is a fourteen fourteen and sixteen sixteen or and plus three is nineteen total sum of the x is nineteen and total sum of the y okay let me calculate it for you all eighty two plus uh, 63 plus 57 plus 88 plus 68 plus 75 plus it is the sum of the y is come up with the four double three okay now what we will do we will square the each value of the x the means the study hours six if you will square the 6 is become a 36 2 into 2 is a 4 1 if you square of the 1 is come up 1 5 multiplied by 5 is a 25 2 again is a 4 and 3 is 9 now we will go to sum of the y sum of the x square sum of the x square again 36 plus 4 plus 1 plus 25 plus 4 plus 9 plus is 7 9 sum of the x square is come up with the 7 now 7 9 now we will we will do the same one each value of the y we square it 80 80 2 we square it's come up with the 6724 6000 uh, 6724 now again we square of the 63 uh, 3969 okay then we square the 57 57 square 3249 okay then we square the 88 it's double seven double four okay now we square the 68 four six two four okay now we square the 75 square the 75 five six two five now we will sum up all the value of the y square 5625 plus uh, uh, 4624 uh, plus double seven double four plus uh, 3249 plus 3969 plus 6724 plus <coughs> it's come up with the 31935 this is the value of the sum of the y square now what we will do in the in the fifth column the fifth column says every x value we will multiply with these y with its y value so 6 multiply 6 multiply by 82 is come up 492 6 multiply by 82 is come up with the say 492 then 2 multiply by 63 is 1 2 6 1 2 6 now again 57 multiply by 1 it's come up with the 2 multiply by 63 is a 120 1 multiply by 57 it's a come up with the 57 okay and 5 multiply by 88 
88 multiplied by 5 it's come up with the 440 and then 2 multiplied by 68 it's a 68 multiplied by 2 let's come over with the 136 and the 3 multiplied by 50 75 <coughs> excuse me 75 multiplied by 3 it's a 2 2 2 2 5 now what we will do we sum up of the x y so 2 2 5 sum of 136 sum with the 4 double 4 0 and add up with the 5 say 1 plus 1 2 6 plus 4 9 2 as 4 1 4 7 6 okay now we calculated the all the values which is required in the R formula now we will go to solve the R okay uh, what are the n n is the number of the sample 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 is the sample now what is the sum of the xi we will put the value or add the sum of the xy is a 14 7 6 and minus what is the sum of the y x is the 19 then we multiply it with the sum of the y what is the sum of the y is 4 double 3 okay then we will write down the square root okay now the square root what is the square root it says n is again the 6 what is the sum of the x square sum of the x square is 79 okay minus sum of the x sum of the x is 9 then what is the formula is the square we will square the sum of the x then again multiply it n is a 6 again what is the sum of the y square sum of the y square is 31935 then minus sum of the y what is the sum of the y sum of the y is 433 and then we will do the whole square okay now we will go to solve it the first of all we will multiply the 1476 with the 6 it's come up with the 8 8 5 6 okay then we will multiply the 19 with 4 double 3 it's come up with the 800 2 2 7 now we will go to multiply and the minus of the values then 79 multiply by the 6 so 4 7 4 7 4 now minus what is the value 19 we square the 19 361 okay then multiply again 31935 multiply with the 6 it's come up with the 1 lakh 91610 minus we will do the whole square of the 4 double 3 is 1 lakh 87489 okay now we will minus the double 8 5 6 minus eight double two seven is six hundred twenty nine okay now what we will do we will minus the four seven four minus three one six is around six twenty nine then we will minus the three six one from the four seven four is come up with the value of the one 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 three one hundred thirteen okay then 
we minus the one lakh uh, one lakh eighty seven thousand four hundred eighty nine from the one lakh one lakh ninety one thousand six hundred ten minus one lakh eighty seven thousand four hundred eighty nine so it's come up with the four one two one now what you will do four one two one we multiply it with the one one three oh it's a six twenty nine it's come up with the value of the four six five six seven three now what you will do we will draw the square root under root of the this value okay now oh, it's come up with the six two nine is round if if I write down this whole value, so we will what round up. It's come up with the 683. 683, okay. So now what you will do in the last, we divide the 629 with the 683. Okay, 629 divided by 683. Okay, it's a come up with the 0.92. Now the R is the value of the R, the value of the R which has come up with the 0.92. Now the 0 0.92, 0 0.92 which has come up with the answer of the R is a correlation coefficient. Now 0 0.92 is again is, the, is a come up with the result with the positive. So it is a strong, is a positive relationship between the study hours and the, the score, GPA is the score. So it means is a positive relationship between the studies, how much the students spend the more hours, you will get the good score. Now, 0.92, it shows the strong relationship because it is near towards the one. It's very near to plus one so it is the strong relationship the strong correlationship between the study hours and the uh, get the scores now in the second steps now we will go to measure the linear regression what's the linear regression says the linear regression it is uh, show the in a straight line the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable here our independent variable is the study hours and the dependent variable is the score of the students so it's the linear regression it shows the linear equation y is equal to a plus b x a is here is the intercept it is called the intercept and B is called the slope. Right? And in the sum books, it's written here is a B naught. Y is written in the other form. In the other form, it is written this formula is a B naught plus B1 X. X is the value and B is the B1 is the slope. B naught is the intercept. But to keep the rememberize it in a more in easy way, so write down the formula like this a plus b. It's a very easy to keep memorize it the formula of the linear equation. This is the linear equation. Let's to go to solve the uh, linear equation. As I told you, y is equal to a plus b x. Y is the dependent variables okay which is the number of the scores and a is the intercept b is the slope and x is the x value so to solve the uh, the values of the a in the linear equation so it is another formula for that a is equal to sum of the y sum of the y okay sum of the y multiplied with the sum of the x square and minus with the sum of the x and multiply it with the sum of the x y and divide it by n sum of the 
uh, x square minus sum of the x whole square. Now in the b for, for to calculate the bar, uh, to calculate the b in the linear equation which is the slope is the another formula for that n is equal is equal to sum of the x y minus of the sum of the x and sum of the y and divided by the n sum of the x square minus sum of the x whole square now we will go to solve the one by one so first of all we will go to solve the to uh, to draw the value of the a so what is the formula for the a is says sum of the y where is the sum of the y is a 4 4 double 3 is the sum of the y then we multiply it with the sum of the x square sum of the x square is 79 again what is the formula says minus sum of the x where is the sum of the x is 19 and sum of the xy sum of the xy is multiplied with 44 1476 then we will go to divide it with the n n is a 6 okay sum of the x square sum of the x square again 79 minus sum of the x is 19 then we will do the square whole square now after calculation these value let's see 4 double 3 multiply by 7 9 is 3 4 2 0 7 then we will do minus 1 4 uh, 7 6 multiply with the 1 9 is 28,000 double 4 okay then me divide it by 79 multiply by 6 is cover 4 7 and then square the 19 is 3 6 1 so 3 4 2 0 7 minus 2 8 0 double 4 it's come up with 6 1 6 3 okay then 4 7 4 minus 3 6 1 1 1 3 now 6 1 6 3 we divide the 6 1 6 3 with the 1 1 3 it's come up with the 54 54.539 50 it's come up with the value of the a is 54.539 so we round up it it come up with the 4.5 okay 54.54 now we will go to calculate now we calculate the value of the a which is the intercept now we will go to calculate the value of the b which is the slope so what is the formula says is a 6 and is 6 what is the sum of the xy is a 1476 multiply with the number and then sum of the x what is the sum of the x is a 19 then we multiply the 19 with the sum of the y what is the value of the y four double three then we divide it with the n is again is a six sum of the x square 79 sum of the x square 79 and then again sum of the y whole square so 1476 multiply by six eight eight 5 6 then 4 double 3 multiply by 19 it's 8 2 2 7 like same in the linear regression now again 79 multiply by 6 is comma 4 7 7 4 7 7 2 and we will minus okay minus now minus of the x square is the 
three six one. Now double eight five six v minus the double eight double two seven double two seven from the eight double double eight five six eight double two seven six hundred twenty six as same like the in the line of rotation with the oh, sorry in the correlation coefficient so again uh, v minus the 361 from the 474 is come up with the 133 now we divide the 629 with the 113 is come up uh, the the b the result of the b come up with the 5.56 okay 5.56 now this is the the value of the b which is slope and this is the value of the a which is the intercept now we will go to put up the both the values of the a and b in the linear regression equation y is equal to a plus b and x so what is the value of the a a 54.454 and plus 5.4 five six and then the x five point five six is the average value of the y which is increased by the one value of the x five point five six is the average value of the y which is increased by the one unit of the x now if i say if the examiner asks if the any student it is the value which is uh, the hours which is written over here 6 2 3 4 5 6 and 3 hours uh, different hours they are spending and if it means as with the raw data if you are looking on the raw data those students who are spending the more hours on the study they are getting the good scores so if i say if any student if any student spend the 4 hours on the study then how much how much how much score he will get okay now the four hours now we will uh, put the value of the here the put the value of the four hours which is value of the x now why why okay it's not looking the downwards so let me okay let's see over here if the any student who is spending the four hours yeah that how much the score he will get now here we come up with the uh, linear regression equation the value of the intercept is 54.54 and plus 5.56 which is the value of the b which is the value of the slope and the x now the the examiner is asking if the any student is spending the four hours how much the score he will get now y is equal to 54.54 plus 5.56 which is the average scores of the y and the x value now the x value is given over here is a four then we'll put the okay now 54.45 plus we will multiply the 5.5.56 point, 5 multiply with the four it's come up with the 22.24 now 22.24 we add up with the intercept value plus 54.54 is y is come up with the 76.81 is if you will round up it is it is 77 now see here it is the it is a very key point here to understand it now has the examiner asked in a question if the value of the x if it is a four hours so we put the value 
of the x is the 4 then we multiply the 4 with the with the slope values so after the add up of the a with the b values it's come up with the y is come up with the 77 bars okay 77 bars it means if any student who spend the four hours on the study he will get the 77 marks now look over here look over here to prove it now those let's see here who spend the two hours it's get the 66 marks and 68 bars means below the 70 marks now the student who spent the three hours he got the 75 marks now definitely if the any student who spent the one hours more then he will get the 77 marks okay it means in the 75 if you will add up this average value it will come up with the 77 okay so those students who spend the four hours you will get the 77 bars means the three hours student student who has spent the three hours he got the 75 marks the definitely one hour if he spend the one hour more then he will get the 77 marks okay now i hope and uh, today lecture it's clear your concept about the how to calculate the correlation coefficient and the linear regression equation it's the simple linear regression equation it is not the multiple linear regression equation okay in the multiple linear regression if you will go to add up the b1 b2 b3 and b4 it is the multiple linear regression it will goes to convert it to multiple linear regressions so and the today uh, and the last i request you all to watch my video lecture it's properly it will enhance your knowledge and grip on the bio states and the last i request you all to subscribe my youtube channel now press the bell icon button which is below this lecture at the end of this lecture by pressing the bell button you will get my new lecture as soon as i upload on my youtube channel and the look in the last i request you all to uh, propagate my video uh, channels to your colleague to your friends to your to your students for the learning of the biostates and to enhance the knowledge in the biostate subjects thank you so much